Hello, how are you? Welcome to CUO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and correct the misrepresentations of Africa and Africans and address the exploitation and abuse of Africans, Africans and Africa. In 2017, a Nigerian man in Toronto, taking his son to school with his wife, was apprehended by the police in front of his family. He was taken into custody. After months of court appearances and over 40,000 Canadian dollars paid to lawyers in Canada, he was denied bail. He was detained for a year and a half and extradited to the United States where he has been held, detained, in jail for two years. So this Nigerian man has been jailed a year and a half in Canada, two years in the United States with no court appearances. He has not been convicted. He was picked up and detained and jailed on allegations of fraud and scam because another Nigerian in jail to, to plead for a plea bargain mentioned his name and a couple of other Nigerian names so he could get a reduced sentence and he was sent back to Nigeria. This Nigerian man has not been able to see his son, his family, for three and a half years. He has not been convicted. He has not faced trial. But he has been detained for three and a half years. Now, under the American law, he has been given a lawyer in the United States to represent him. He has not been able to speak to his lawyer, the one that was offered kindly and generously by the United States to represent him. The first lawyer basically told him, just admit you're guilty and you have a, re a number of sentences, you go back to your country, you'll be deported. But this Nigerian man is saying, I cannot confess to what I have not done. They gave him another, offered him another lawyer he has not been able to speak to since February. So this Nigerian man has been jailed in the United States for two years. He's not been convicted, he's not even gone to court, but he's jailed on allegation of scam and fraud because another Nigerian mentioned his name to negotiate a plea bargain. Now, this is the fate of many hundreds of Nigerian men in the UK and in the United States and Canada especially. The rights, the rights of Nigerians abroad is being violated every day. Now, please don't get me wrong. For those Nigerians that are found guilty of fraud or scam, yes, they should be penalized. Appropriate legal system should be put in place. They should go to court go to jail if they are found guilty. What I'm talking about here is that the law is being misapplied for Nigerian men. Normally it's like you are innocent until proven guilty in the United States. But in the United States, in regard to scam or fraud, alleg allegations of scam or fraud against Nigerians, you are guilty until proven innocent. And you're held in jail, detained. Your legal rights are violated. Your human rights are violated. Why? You know, the police are investigating, looking for information, sometimes manufacturing some to, to find you guilty and keep you there long term. There's an anger, a raging anger against Nigerian men in the West. And that is based on the fact that Nigerian men are perceived to scam and defraud the West. And I think under that anger, which is racially driven, many Nigerian men, many Nigerian men, men's rights have been violated. Hundreds of Nigerian men are held in jails in the UK, in the United States, in Canada, in other parts of Europe with no legal processing, no convictions, no trial. They are held there. Why? Evidence is being dug out or found or created generated. This is a gross human rights violation with impunity. Nigerian men, Nigerians, every human being should have access to equality when it comes to the legal process, when it comes to the law. Right now, the law is being misapplied when it comes to Nigerian men. Nigerian men are being held in jails all over the world on allegations of scam, and most times they are not proven, they are just held on allegations of scam. Many people are found guilty of their accusations, but they are not paraded in front of the camera proudly. Nigerian men are paraded in front of the camera proudly 
publicly, proudly on allegations of scam and fraud. And that is a gross human rights violation. There's something that drives that, and what drives it is some level of anger from the West, anger around the world that, how dare you, how dare you think you can exploit us? So if you can't get the Nigerian that is guilty, any Nigerian will do. That's why you find most Nigerians are picked up, thrown in jail. Because if you can't get the one that is actually guilty of fraud, ah, pick another. Because it's a generalized anger against Nigeria. And this has to stop. Thank you.